Well, right now, this morning, we are going to introduce you to one of Louisville's most interesting men. Our Jonathan Wall is joining us now with his story. And Jonathan, tell us about him. Yeah, so you know when you meet someone who's so interesting, you just want to know everything about them. That's mm -hmm. the way it was with Safa. So not only is he a hard worker, but he's also super interesting and inspiring. But he's not your average Joe. So it was a story I knew I had to share with you. At first glance, it's your average tire shop. Until you meet its own. I did not like Saddam, so end up uprising against Saddam. And we went outside, me and my friends in the small town. We tore up his picture down. Safa also Harry fled Iraq during the Gulf War, fearing retaliation. This tire shop is his new home, his refuge. Yeah, America is a good country, and they open the door for a lot of people, different nationality. For Safa, America means the opportunity to run his own business, and the way he runs it is a bit out of the ordinary. Yep, that's a parrot sitting on his fence outside the shop. Bird is fun, you know, I mean, they don't make me stress. Ham, that's a good thing because birds are everywhere you look at the shop. Macaws, pigeons, parakeets, chickens, and a cockatoo. I asked Safa how many birds he had. He said too many to count. Better than some human. <laughs> don't, don't take me wrong, but I mean, it's fun, you know, it's something is amazing. That's how we give me a kiss, you know. Believe it or not, sometimes they miss me, and I miss them too. And when I come, some of them, they say hello. His love for feathered friends started early, when he got his first bird as a young boy in Iraq. And the parakeet, I remember they flew away, and I was crying. And then my dad, he took me to a, a neighbor, and I remember he gave me a white pigeon. So I, I start like the pigeon, then I start crying. Now he has lots of pigeons that get to make his refuge their refuge. That's pretty girl, and that's Angel. A great home for Safa and his many go there? birds. Just, I'm dreaming to stay here. And Safa told me he's been back to Iraq twice since coming to America. It's great to see his family and friends where he's from, but he says it's his new home and this is really where he wants to stay and live. So where is this place? Can we go check it? I just want to go see it. Yeah, it's right <laughs> by Churchill Downs, just a little bit north, and I've driven past it so many times. And I just didn't notice. But now that I, now that you, I've seen it and I've looked, it's it's hard not to notice because those birds are all over those black tires. And see, just so, like pop out. so it's not just a tire shop. On a closer look, you do see the birds. Oh yeah, if he's out for the day and the doors are open, there are birds everywhere. I pulled up <laughs> and there were like I think eight parrots just sitting on the fence. That's so oh cool. Oh my gosh, quite the tree. I should take my kids over there. Definitely. All right, thanks very much.